Road trip, road trip, road trip. So, that is our mission. So we're traveling 10 hours. Come along with us to see what we see and see what we eat while traveling. Probably it's going to be majority gas station food, but who knows? May come along with us when we get lost because I have no signal and if this map shuts down we're definitely lost. I don't know where we're at. Like BFE though. Okay. It'll be the last time <laughs> that you get to see us. So it is 510. We've been in the car for over four hours and we just stopped at the gas station. I took a fat nap the whole time and I'm so tired still. So I got a Celsius and then Chris got a monster. And then I got this Southwest chicken salad. And I forgot a fork, so that's fantastic. I got these apple chips, some honeydew. We stopped at Love. That's Chris's favorite place. Is it only because the food's good? Love Chris stuff is good. Everything is only clean. Oh, okay, that's true. So. Love truck stop. That's where we always stop. He will literally, only one out of the 10 times that I ask, let me go to any other gas station. Are you having fun driving? So much fun. You're so good at it. Mm -hmm. I took such good naps. Mm -hmm. So we're almost at the hotel and we're <laughs> The brakes were squealing really hard. Then. <laughs> so we're almost at the hotel, and I am going to go back to the hotel, get ready, and not look homeless because literally in workout clothes right now. Yeah, I'm ready for my other girlfriend to come out. Your other girlfriend? Yeah. Don't you like that there's two? Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Going to a restaurant on Clearwater Beach. So I'm looking at restaurants right now. What kind of vibe are you looking for? I want to put my toes in the sand. Oh. Uh, I don't think that exists. Huh? Huh? All I'm saying is I'm getting naked on the beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're so kind. Do you come here often? <laughs> Chris. You just given up? Excuse me. Oh, room service. <laughs> Ooh. We're at the Holiday Inn. Hmm. I guess this means that we get to sleep by ourselves. Uh, I have my own space now. Nah. I put all the crap on one bed and we sleep in the other bed. All right. It's time to not look like a homeless person. Ready? Let's see if this transition goes well. <laughs> so this is the outfit. It's time to do my hair and makeup. Make me look like a whole nother person. How do I look? Amazing. That's it? Turn that camera off. <laughs> so we decided to stay in the area because it's already 9.15 and we're starving. So, we're gonna go somewhere that's literally five minutes from the hotel. So we went to an Italian restaurant. I usually don't get Italian because my mom always taught me that it's better to make it at home, but we came here and it was actually so beautiful. We both had wine and it was really romantic. Are you taking mine? What is happening? Why? Why are you doing this? How is it? It's a good salmon. Yeah? We'll see if mine's better. Oh, look at that. Ooh. They both have their own different flavors. Like, they're just different. Not, neither one's better. I think I like mine better because it's still got the skin on it where yours doesn't, but yeah, it's good. Just got back from dinner and it was actually so good. I usually don't get Italian because it's usually not very good. It's very salty and usually overcooked. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. 
loved it. Highly recommend. Okay, so this is the outfit I'm wearing today. Today's the next day and Chris is at the event, so I'm going to be going shopping today. Only half the day and then I have some computer work I need to do. But I just got this outfit from Ari and I think it's so cute. Let's see what I get. I need to get a dress for my sister's rehearsal dinner. So that is our mission. And I also need to get breakfast and coffee. I hope they have Starbucks. We'll see. The little pit stop at Starbucks because I didn't think that they had any type of food that I would like at the mall. So, and also I needed coffee. So I got Starbucks and my go-to order is a venti shaken oat milk espresso with light ice, three pumps of vanilla sugar-free syrup, no classic, and one pump of the vanilla bean powder. I have been through so many Starbucks drinks that this is my concoction that I finally proved is fantastic. But it's only good if you're like looking for a low carb and low sugar drink because other drinks at Starbucks are definitely better. Like, I'm not fooling myself by saying this is better than a Frappuccino, no. But this is good for what I'm looking for. Starving, so I got a spinach feta wrap, warmed. I only got this one other time and I remember it being really good, so I'm excited to have it again. Mmm. It's definitely good warmed up. I'm happy. And then I'm gonna go in there and go shopping. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But yeah. So I'll show you guys hopefully what I get at the end. So I just got back in the car and I went to the mall. I spent over an hour in Nordstrom. That was too long, too long. The girl was helping me and she brought me dress after dress. They were beautiful. This girl was handing me $400 dresses. I'm 22 years old. Why do you think I can afford a $400 dress? So I walked out of there. And then I went to Abercrombie and & Fitch and the dresses were actually pretty good. They had a lot of options. One of my favorite dresses, they didn't have in my size. I'll put it on the screen. So pretty. But then I got another dress and it fit perfect. So I'm happy with it. Wasn't too pricey. And now I'm going back to the hotel and I got Chris a coffee. I had coffee this morning and I got myself a strawberry breeze smoothie. So we'll see how that is. I'm excited for it. I'm starving. So let's go back. Rehearsal dinner dress I got. So it's like a side shoulder and it has like a little knot here to kind of like cinch the waist. So I think it's so cute. It's super light. The wedding is in August, so this will definitely be helpful. Really funny. This is my second wedding because my, well, second wedding within the next, last two years, my other sister got married and I wore the same color to her rehearsal dinner. So it's kind of cute, but I just got back and I'm going to do a little bit of computer work and I'm so tired, but Today was a good day so far, so get some computer work done. Be able to check a couple of things off my to-do list, and then Chris and I are gonna go out to dinner. Whoop, whoop. So we are on our way to dinner. Chris got out of his meeting. How was it? Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he just pointed out a guy running shirtless. Do you have something you have to tell me? That'd make a good ice sculpture. So we came to this place right on the marina and the actual ocean view was about 30 minutes from our hotel but this place was only 10 so it was really nice to just go here and get the view of the water. But we had to be seated at the bar because they were so busy. They wanted like a 30 to 50 minute wait. We weren't going to wait that long. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is Sunday and we are leaving tonight to go to Chris's camp which is halfway between Florida, like where we are in Florida and Alabama. So we're driving there tonight, I'm driving, so I'm gonna drink a lot of caffeine today. 
but Chris is in the meetings today, so I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now and get us both coffee. I think I'm gonna go get a smoothie bowl. I haven't had one in a while, and we're in Florida, so usually smoothie bowls are just so much better here. I don't, I don't know why, they're just amazing. So I think I might stop to get myself one, and then I'm gonna come back to the hotel room and do some more work. Also, I just did a slick back bun with my short hair, and I am vibing with it. It is so convenient, and my hair was like a little bit dirty, so it worked out, and I think I'm gonna do this more often. I didn't think I'd be able to with the short hair, but it's staying in so far, so we'll see how long it lasts. Thank you. So, your girl's a little upset. Something was going on with him because he was asking me to repeat myself 10 times. And I originally said oat milkshake and espresso and then he's like, what kind of espresso? The cinnamon, the toasted, whatever versions they have. And I was like, just the regular. And he gives me a regular oat milk espresso with regular milk. So, I started drinking it. And I'm a quarter way through. I'm gonna shit my pants soon because I can't handle milk. And that's why I originally ordered oat milk. So, I'm going to get a smoothie bowl at Green and Berry in Tampa. But I'm going to see if they have any coffee because I need coffee and I can't drink the one I got. So Chris is gonna get two, but I need to go find another coffee source. So, I got my smoothie bowl. They didn't have any coffee, so I'm sad. But, I'm really happy for the smoothie bowl. It looks so good. So for lunch, we went somewhere a little bit healthier, and it's called Fresh Kitchen. It was so good, but this was a kid's meal. It was so big. I enjoyed it, though. You seem happy with our choice. Oh, you're so handsome. We went to a place where we saw the billboard and was like, hey, that looks good. Look at the trees. I'm going to get the big bass salad with grouper. And Chris is having me try. Okay, they're gator bites. Are they gonna come eat you? They're not gonna come eat you. This is big bass sauce. Nobody knows what's in this yet because this is organic to Lake and a soft key. Chris, you look so handsome right now. Thank you. This lighting, your hair. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Let's try it. That's what I remember. You've had this before? Mm -hmm. Not here. Oh yeah, it tastes like chicken. Yeah, it's just a little chewy. Uh huh. I don't like it. That was awesome. Okay. It is different. I've never had sauce like that. It's like, it is a little spicy. You may not love it, but it's, I don't know. They definitely mix like two things together, like a Thousand Island and honey mustard, and then put some spicy stuff in it. What's the thing that starts with an H? Hoister sauce? No, not hoister sauce. Uh, oyster shire? Oyster sauce? Yeah. You ruined this, whatever the word is. That's <laughs> what's in it. Oyster shire? And mayonnaise. <laughs> like, they said it's a local catch or whatever with the gator, but it tastes kind of like metallic -y. That's kind of kind of bothers me. Metallic as in fake? <laughs> Not fake, just like it's got something in it, like the, the meat does from whatever is of this lake. Oh, great. Thank you for sharing. That you don't makes taste it. Yum. So good. Ooh, that looks really good. I know. Rainbow belts from the favorite love truck stop, and uh, they're like two dollars instead of six dollars for a pack of candy. So that's uh, that's real bad. Is it? I Let me mean, try. You stick enough sugar on a turd, and it tastes pretty good. That's uh, that's what they did. They even painted it colors. That's nice. So, oh, you keep it, really. I'm a giver. Oh, you keep that. That's for you. Right. 
Okay. <laughs> that was good. After that experience, I'm not even gonna try the other ones. We got gummy worms, but uh, I'm just not gonna put myself through that, so. All right, moving on. I Let's think we go. should try it. I think, I think you should try it. <laughs> wait, this, look, wait, wait, let me pick the color. Oh, that's the good one, I can tell. <laughs> Ew, I don't want your dirty fingers. All right, better than whatever you just ate. No, this is better. Is it? Is it really better? Yes. Just one of them jokes. <laughs> it is actually better. It tastes the, like candy. Yeah, the texture is better. Yeah, it tastes like candy. Yeah. How would I lie to you? Well, that thing tastes like cardboard that's been painted sugar laid on it. I thought it was a turd. I oh, know. Yeah. Use your imagination. All right, well now I'm gonna go drive another, what, three hours, four hours? Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. <laughs> so we just went to a random gas station, Z Mart, and we got some food. And it's soaking wet outside. It's so bad. Let me see this cute thing. Look at this door. Look at that. It's soaked. I'm soaked. She got the princess treatment. Pulled up to the front door. <gasps> you oh. so good to me. Jeez. Okay. Let's see what we got here. You are about to get an experience. By the way, guys, it's raining like crazy still. So if you can hear the background. Yeah. I'm about to have an experience. Why? Oh, you never had no gizzard. What's a gizzard? Chicken gizzard. What's a, what does that mean? <laughs> All right. What's a gizzard? It's a gizzard, you know? It ain't liver, it's a gizzard. It's a liver of a chicken? No, no, they didn't have no livers, they got gizzards. What is that, though? It's a part of a chicken. Like, what part? Uh, a tasty part. What were you saying to the guy when he was like, oh, that's... When you're like, oh, that's good marketing or something? Oh, because he showed me what a small looked like, and you could, like, it was like this thick, right? So you couldn't fit nothing in it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's a fried gizzard. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. What? Yo, you can't stick it back in there. You got to eat it. Just put the whole thing in your mouth and chew it. What is it? It's a gizzard. Why do you like these? They're different. I think it's a part of a chicken that like helps it crush up food and stuff. I think it's what the gizzard is. No, you know what this tastes like? Alligator. Yeah, it's similar to that. Oh! <laughs> I just got like a crunch of like <laughs> an intestine. Oh. It's not an intestine. I did not eat healthy today. Although I wanted to, I did not have that option because we just were on the road and gas station food was the only option. But balance is key. I try to remind myself that all the time and I did what I could. I got my carbs in, I got my protein in, I didn't overeat and that's all I could ask for, right? But this chicken was actually surprisingly good. Because it was a gas station, I did not expect this. We just got back a little bit ago and we got ready. Now we're going out to dinner with some friends. So this is basically what we eat while traveling. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I post every single Friday. Bye.